have got a very good news. Um, finally, Octave has got its GUI version out. Um, although it is not officially released, they have an experimental version, a beta version. And apparently it is quite stable. I have installed it and it looks quite good. So um, what I thought was um, it would be nice if I make a video on uh, for you guys to show how where to get this um, experimental version of uh, GUI Octave and how to install it and how to get the packages on. Okay, so this um, video is uh, regarding the GUI Octave um, 3.8 version. Um, to get the uh, latest version of the GUI Octave, um, just open this Google and browser and on that simply type Octave, simply type Octave 3.8 um, Microsoft, my Microsoft Windows. Okay, and I think this should be sufficient. And if you see the first hit that we have got, right, is the Octave for Microsoft Windows. Um, I think this should be sufficient for us. So if you click on this guy and if you open it up, um, we'll see this wiki page for Octave. Okay, and it says uh, if you see here about the version numbers, it is um, 3.8. X okay that is the current release now you go to the bottom of this page and um, you will find an untouched it is called experimental version of Octave 3.8 um, they have given a link here so if you see here it is an untouched MXE build for the current 3.8 release can be found at this location okay so um, I just zoom it for you guys and if you see um, if you cannot read it properly, it is basically it says it's HTTPS HTTP um, HTTP uh, colon double slash uh, MXE Octave dot OSUV dot DE. Okay, so this is the link that we need to follow, and if you hit this link, it will take you to the repository um, where the Octave um, beta version is stored, and this is the repository and uh, it shows the links of the parent directories and this is the release candidate 3.81 release candidate and I would recommend not to use this release candidate because um, when I try to install it I was not able to get the packages working properly okay so there's some issue with that but um, 3.8.05 uh, uh, this installer looks pretty much okay um, I have done the installation of this guy so um, uh, these are all basically the same different ways of um, accessing it. This is a uh, .7z, this is .zip file. Okay, and if you're using Windows 8, then you need to follow, uh, you need to use these batch files. But I don't use Windows 8, so it doesn't matter. Um, so when you right-click on this, uh, the installer will be downloaded. And uh, I have downloaded the installer here on the desktop. Um, so it looks something like this. It is Octave 3.8 installer. Okay, size is 111 MB, GNU project and once you do the installation you will have two icons on your desktop one uh, will be the console command line and the other one says experimental GUI okay and this is what we are interested in the experimental GUI which looks very much similar to MATLAB and if you open this guy if you double click it will take a bit of time because it is quite uh, I have got quite a few packages uh, inside um, but shouldn't take more than two or three minutes um, but uh, the good thing about this is it looks very much the feel is very much same similar to um, the MATLAB uh, the just like it looks very similar to MATLAB um, in most of the sense and I have tried to run a few of the codes as well um, and it looks uh, pretty much alright and I'm really excited that uh, we have this file version finally out so um, this is how it looks like right um, this is the command window um, so I have kept uh, as customized the uh, view so I have kept the file browser and workspace and the visible area and then on this right hand side I have got the command window and the editor okay and this is how it looks like now before you start uh, working on it you need to also install the packages okay um, so for us uh, mostly we will need signal processing and communication packages and the good thing is that the, all the packages comes along with the um, octave itself okay so you don't need to download them separately but you will need to in install them you need to compile them separately um, and they have given the facility of um, installation also but just one more point before we get into that um, when you install octave always uh, install it in uh, your root drives okay the c drive or d drive whatever you have don't use the program files or the my documents with the space because when you install the packages it will create a lot of issues 
okay so if you go to this uh, directory this is where I have got my octave stored right so it is c colon slash octave 3.8 and within that there is one more directory called sbsrc this is the directory if you go into that then you will see all the packages in there okay these are the packages that I've got uh, that are present and in order to install the packages um, they have provided us this with m file which is called build packages m so all you need to do is I've already installed it but so if you want to uh, add these packages all you need to do is you just need to write to command build packages packages and then press enter okay so automatically it will extract the individual uh, packages and it will install into your system um, if you face errors it means that something is wrong you need to have the um, GCC compiler also into your system um, but uh, most of the times you will come across the warnings okay and just ignore the warnings um, at least for signal processing and the communication toolbox I haven't found any issues by um, despite the warnings okay this is one part and one more thing that uh, I want to mention is that um, if you want to use uh, some of the toolboxes let's say um, uh, you want to use a signaling toolbox then you need to load the packages okay and the way we load it is um, the command is package load and then uh, signaling toolbox so it is signal that's the name of the package and if you press enter okay it is going to load the packages since there is no error everything is fine um, but if you just want to confirm whether it has worked well you can uh, pick up some of the functions in the signal processing toolbox um, the one recent function which I have used is an autocorrelation function which is called xcore so if I type help xcore if I do like this and press enter it should be able to show you the help okay of usability of this function which means that uh, we have successfully loaded the signal processing toolbox okay I will quit this and I also want to load um, the communications toolbox so again I will do package load package load and I will say communications communication that's the name of the toolbox or the package okay and when I press enter there's no error it means it has successfully loaded uh, but just to check I will use one of the functions within the toolbox which is called AWGN and if I press enter it should display me the functionality of that module okay so this is how it looks like um, now let's uh, try to run this okay so I have got some of the scripts and I want to show you uh, how the editor looks like so um, I've got some of the files here and let me use this demo gaussian.m okay so you just double click onto that and it is uh, it will open this editor window and if you see the feel of this window it looks very similar to the MATLAB editor okay m file editor so you have um, the debugging options where you can put the breakpoints you can run it directly okay from the editor window so what I'll do is I will run this guy and just go here run and save file and run okay F5 or you can use just F5 it will ask you for to change the directory so you just say add directory to the load path and press enter and let's go back to the command window and see what is happening okay so it, the code has executed and as you can see um, if you load the figures and you can see these figures right um, so it looks perfectly fine I executed the code directly from the editor rather than um, uh, from the command line putting the name of the files and all the stuff now one more thing we need to examine is the um, we'll use the breakpoints and we will see how the breakpoints work okay so if you want to use the breakpoints just click on the uh, just click on the line and uh, let's say I want to put the breakpoint here at line number 10 and then again you can press save and run it is going to hit the breakpoint and if you're going to go a uh, step by step you can press F10 and it, uh, you can see that uh, the control is moving right uh, from line to line and we have this nice functionality where you can see the uh, workspace as well so here if you see um, it's very nicely neatly done you have the name of the variables also the class it shows the dimension this is like an array of two cross okay two need two cross uh, 201 cross one nine cross two zero one and it gives also the range of the values it's quite good and quite impressive and I'm really happy um, that they have finally got this thing up uh, and if you want to use this um, I will put the uh, name of the link also in the YouTube comments so you can you can go down there and download this uh, octave and enjoy this excellent software for free okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next videos thank you for watching